Good evening one and all and welcome to the video. This video I'll be talking about a batch framework, an internal data ingestion framework that, that essentially processes one terabyte of data in a month and run more than 200 jobs. Uh, this project was done at my firm, Job Target, and uh, me and my colleagues have uh, you know worked on this project and I wanna share insight about this project with you. Uh, in this project, the authors are Samil Shah, that is me. Uh, I work as a data collection and processing uh, team lead. We have Haryom Dubey, who works as a consultant, software engineer, and a Python developer. Himadri works as a junior engineer. April Love works as a software engineer. Uh, um, and then we have Paul Allen as our mentor. Um, so essentially the challenges was, um, we discovered a great need throughout the firm to standardize the process of running, scheduling and error handling while writing Python uh, tasks, right? Everyone essentially was not doing a good job at error handling, there was no logs. So we found a great need to, you know, uh, you know develop something that essentially can solve all the problems, right? Essentially we wanted to easily scale up and down. For example, for sometimes when we were running jobs, we required RAM, we required 32 GB to 60 GB RAM. Sometimes we just required 4 GB of RAM, right? So how do we scale up and down based on a job level, right? How do we add CPU cores based on that, right? How do we asynchronously invoke these scripts, you know, on, on a schedule? So we needed all these facility, um, which is why we created this internal framework completely on cloud, on Amazon Web Services. So essentially, uh, this graph shows the amount of data our, our team processes with the framework. Uh, as you can see, astonishing, we are at nearly around one terabyte of data, right? So uh, we are nearly processing a terabyte worth of data. Uh, it's pretty impressive numbers. In January, we were running 19 jobs and February, we are running right now 250 jobs totally, uh, approximately 250 jobs on this framework. Well, the batch frame framework offers following feature, uh, you know, it allows you to um, run and schedule Python scripts. Uh, so essentially each Python scripts run it in, run it in its own virtual container in AWS, right? Um, we run these jobs in batches, right? Uh, we can set cron jobs, cron, cron schedule for these. We can run the script manually if needed through an API. Uh, In-depth error handling, we have four layers of error handling, monitoring and alerting, right? So the batch framework is fully scalable internal framework designed uh, to run thousand plus jobs and can scale horizontally. Each job has the ability to specify how much compute environment you need. For example, CPU cores, RAM. Uh, when a job starts, it creates a process. Each process has several tasks. Uh, what is batch? If you don't want to know, uh, batch is a service provided by Amazon, right? If you want to know what is batch essentially, Batch um, enables developers, scientists, and engineers to run hundreds and thousands of batch computing jobs easily and efficiently on AWS. You can come and read more on that. Um, so this is the architecture. Want to talk a little bit about this. My thought process or our thought process here was, uh, you know, when the cron job runs, it's going to fire up the event bridge. I mean, event bridge is essentially going to fire up the Lambda. It's going to pass the job ID, right? And then th that job ID, that Lambda is going to essentially uh, pull all the information from the SQL backend, right? Essentially job ID, where to store the logs, right? Description of the job, all the parameters, what Python modules it need, how much CPU it needs, how much RAM it needs, everything. And it, and it passes to the batch job. We create a virtual container for this. So the container uh, is prepared, right? And essentially at this point, um, uh, the job is gonna pull the data from, uh, it's gonna pull the template from S3. It's gonna run the business logic and dump the data on the data lake. Here is the image that shows um, a Swagger UI, which allows you to set up, uh, set cron for your jobs. So as you can see, you can easily set uh, or, or uh, reschedule your jobs monthly, daily, quarterly, uh, easily change that, right? And everything gets um, uh, reflected on AWS Event Bridge, right? So everything has been hooked up pretty nicely. Uh, as you can see, the, this, these are the Lambda triggers, right? So essentially event bridge, each event bridge has a trigger, which is a Lambda function, right? And Lambda essentially pulls the data from SQL about the job and essentially passes to the job ID. You can also run it manually via simple microservice that is API gateway, Lambda, you know, and uh, same thing, right? Um, this one right here shows a table that essentially stores the job name, job description, the cron job, when you wanna run that. Remember we implemented SQL transaction here, which means whatever cron job reflects on event bridge, the same cron job will reflect here as well. So anytime you change anything, that change is done on both the sides. So it's, it's synced up, right? Uh, we have S3 folder path where the templates are saved, right? Uh, secrets, where we store the AWS secret manager, um, S3, uh, bad job log files for maintaining historical log files. We, we essentially have the data lake for that as well. Uh, 
then we have you know batch resource id essentially how much resource you need how much cpu how much ram do you need for that job you can even specify timeouts and whether the job is active or not so all that feature is enabled on, on in terms of um, logging architecture we have essentially four layers of logging cloudwatch datadog historical monitoring logs through an s3 data lake and high level process monitoring through a sql table uh, of course this shows that right so every time a batch job run it creates a process think about process as a unique identifier for a job and on a high level it tells you when the job started when the job ended and was the, whether the job was success or not status id is 0 1 and 2 0 means it's in progress 1 means completed 2 means fail and if it fails it would automatically log the error message here the framework takes care of that each process can have several tasks this is essentially when you're creating pizza right when you're creating pizza you need a flour you need dough you need sauce these are essentially task associated so every process will have task so all your function is automatically logged on the database and if you want to go more in detail you can easily know which at which function your code failed and what was the time everything you can make it out easily from a high level process monitoring second we have do an s3 log so everything is stored on the data lake as you can see year month day and then we have the log file for the for the job so as you can see uh, you know uh, all, 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 all the jobs have been locked on the data lake right uh, in a nice in a nice manner right so we do that um, then we have enabled encryption on the bucket server side encryptions and essentially the buckets have been encrypted using kms right uh, server and client side we have implemented object locks worm model which means write one read many then also also we have implemented lifecycle policy which means data gets easily transitioned from standard to ia and eventually back into the glacier right we have also enabled uh, s3 bucket versions right so we have that this image shows the datadog monitoring dashboard so as you can see we have a beautiful dashboard on datadog which shows how many jobs uh, are running how many jobs error out we can see all the logs cpu memory utilization every single detail we can see from that so that's the third layer the fourth layer if you want to see cloudwatch log you can go to cloudwatch and again see the log based on a job level as well so we have four ways to monitor this process right uh, i think i will conclude the video right here if you have any questions regarding uh, essentially the batch framework let me know in the comment section below this is essentially the framework that me and my colleagues have worked on uh, and then this is a very generalized framework that allows you to run any python job schedule it um, and has built-in error handling monitoring alerting everything is built into the framework hope you have enjoyed watching this video i'll leave the links for the article in the description if you have any questions let me know with that being said thank you so much for watching keep smiling keep programming see you guys next time